My name's Leanne Stevens. I'm a Principal Project Officer for Southern Queensland Landscapes. Weeds cost the Queensland Government over $600 million a year and the Australian Government's investing in workshops such as this to help landholders mitigate the risks of invasive species. This workshop is being funded under the Australian Government's National Land Care Program. Under the Biosecurity Act, everyone has an obligation to minimise the weed seed spread. Some of the risks that are a major concern for a landholder is the time and resources and the cost to control and managing a weed on your property once it's established. Also the decreasing in productivity with invasive species taking over preferred species and the possibility of being toxic to livestock on the property as well. Quite often it is easy to focus on the accessible areas and that viewpoint usually about waist height but when you think about where a vehicle becomes contaminated it's the underside of the vehicle in the engine bay and then also the interior of the vehicle which can be as high risk as the rest of the vehicle. I'm Greg Cook from Western Downs Regional Council, um, Rural Services Officer here in Chinchilla. In my role as a stock route officer, we look after the stock routes, um, travelling cattle but the major part is our obnoxious weeds. Well mainly for me is keeping the facility clean and tidy for a start because it's, it can get pretty messy and we have a lot of big equipment that comes in and obviously mud, gravel and obviously the weed is there. So if you start with a fresh bay and have it clean and hopefully leave with a fresh one, it keeps people in the frame of mind that it's a tidy environment. So yeah, mainly is, is cleaning out your chassis and, and make sure it's thoroughly, the radiator and the different methods is air, your different types of water. Time and money is everything, but most companies these days are pretty good because they can't get out onto a site to perform their duties unless the landowner is happy. Biosecurity Queensland have got some really good online resources. They've got a printable version of a vehicle and machinery clean down procedure and within that procedure it's got a lot of information about your general biosecurity obligations as well as some really handy checklists for inspecting different types of vehicles and machinery. Thinking back since I've been employed with council, like I said, I think this facility is getting more utilised because obviously we've got people doing what we've done today. If we can be about then and help other people out and encourage more to do it, it's just got to be better. On behalf of Western Downs and the local landowners, I'd like to thank Southern Queensland Landscape for um, putting on the day. If landholders want to find out any more information about workshops such as this or any of the other great things that are happening across Southern Queensland, Hop on our website or look out on social media for our Facebook posts.